So the next device that we're going to set up is the playbook over here. Now this one has a little bit more work to get it to work with Flash Builder. So let's, let's start here. So we'll go into your settings on the playbook. You scroll down and you want to find the one that says security. Then you need to go to development mode. Now your development mode, if you've never configured it, should look something like this. What you need to do is to turn on development mode and set any password. I'll set mine to be one, two, three, four. Okay, so now you have a development mode turned on. Now you see here it says development address. This is going to be important when you're working inside a Flash Builder. So the next thing you want to do is to plug in your playbook into your computer with a mini USB cord. So that should be all plugged in. Now before you do any of this, see it says connected to computer there. Before you do any of this, you're going to want to install the uh, BlackBerry utilities on your computer. They can be downloaded from blackberry.com. Uh, they're a connection utility that lets the playbook actually connect to your machine. Uh, let's see, other than that, you're going to need your playbook development certificate and you're going to need to set that up. Uh, BlackBerry has some pretty good instructions on how to do that. I'll post a link to that on this page. Let's see, so once you have your computer registered with the signing authority, you need to go to preferences and you're going to want to search for BlackBerry. And you'll see here you have BlackBerry Tablet OS. So this knows that it has the Playbook SDK installed. If your computer doesn't already have it installed, then you can download and install the Playbook SDK from here. So this tells you exactly what you want, and you'll want this action script with Adobe Air one. Once you have that installed, you pick your SDK path right here, and then you can do that, and you'll be okay. So then, the next thing you want to do is see down here you have this link that says Run BlackBerry Tablet OS Deployment Setup Wizard. You want to click that. So you want to say you're probably an individual developer, or maybe you're a corporate lead, but we'll go with individual developer for now. Now you'll see over here you have your development address. You want to say that you have a device connected over USB. You can also do it over Wi-Fi if you want. I'm not going to configure that right now. So your IP address is over here, 169.254.0.0.0. And your password that you set, well, I set one, two, three, four. You want to want to test your connection. So you'll see that it successfully connected to the device over USB. So you've already registered with a signing authority, I'm assuming. If you've not, this wizard can help you configure it. So you can use your two CSJ files and go through this separate wizard. I've already registered my computer. So it knows that this device already has a thing. If you don't, if your device doesn't have a debug token, which it probably doesn't, then you want to create one here. And you'll see it'll make one for you. And it'll automatically upload it over to your device. And it's successfully created and uploaded. And your device is finished. And it's all set up for development.